back to another Tixra video. If you are new here, Tixra is dedicated to saving our planet. We do beginner friendly videos on recycling old fabric that you no longer use and creating beautiful new authentic pieces. Today we're gonna make a stocking, DIY Christmas stocking with an old shirt or an old dress. So I'm using pink fabric because I want my stocking to be pink. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take an old stocking that you no longer use and you're going to cut around it. If you don't have an old stocking, you can also print out a template or even draw a template. You just kind of need an outline. outline of a stocking is to use fabric cutters uh, which is what I'm using here. Something I forgot to mention is make sure you have two layers underneath so you want to cut out the front and the bottom so the dress that I'm using, the fabric that I'm using, it's actually a closed dress so I'm going to end up having two pieces in the end. for the white part of the stocking. I'm using this old shawl that I have I no longer wear and I'm gonna cut a piece off here that's the same depth as the white part of the stocking and I'm just gonna go ahead and cut across. You can use anything lace or any other fabric you have laying around. Once we're done we're gonna have something that looks like this and we're actually gonna attach this to the top of the stocking when we're done. Before we do that though, we are going to sew close the bottom part of our stocking. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to clip together the bottom piece and the top piece. I use literal clips. You can use pins and whatever works easier for you. Once you are done pinning, you can head over to the sewing machine. <laughs> to the stitching although you don't have to if you watch previous videos you know that when we turn this right side out then none of that is going to show so that is completely up to you I'm going to turn it right side up and show you guys exactly what it looks like Don't worry, Tigsra does not support animal cruelty. And we're going to position it where we want it on top of the stocking. Um, I plan on just sewing this. So once I position the part that I want, I'm just going to head over to the sewing machine. The best part about customizing or personalizing your own DIY stocking is then you can add a design to it. So I may add the letter of my name with a Cricut or sew it on there, or maybe I might even paint it and add my own design. The way that I'm going to add the top part actually didn't work with sewing because it's a little bit 
too thick. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use pins or safety pins. You could probably also use fabric glue now that I think about it. So it just depends on whatever you have um, available to you. Use that to at the top part in. it is done you can now fill your stocking. I'm going to put a candy cane in there and that is all. That's a simple DIY stocking that you can now personalize. I'm probably going to paint mine. If you do use this method please be sure to tag us on our Instagram or duet us on TikTok so we can see your beautiful masterpiece. Not only did you help save the environment by recycling fabrics? You created your own beautiful personalized stocking. Be sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment, leave some sewing tips. These are all beginner videos, so I'm definitely not a seamstress, but if you follow along, I'm sure by like our 50th video, we will be sewing like pros. Like everything else, practice makes perfect. Be sure to follow us on our socials and happy holidays. Bye.